I'm known for nanoscience. I, I work in physics and um, nano things. Uh, so my early career, nobody paid too much attention uh, to me or my field. It was kind of, I was there before it became a field and I was there in early development, which is very nice because then you could just work along on your, on your science kind of unfeathered by interventions. I started out to be an elementary school teacher. That's where I, I started. And, and um, when I uh, started early uh, college training, um, thinking I'd be a, a school teacher, um, I had a, t a science teacher who took a special interest in me. Uh, her name was Rosalind Yellow, and uh, she later uh, founded the field of medical physics. Um, she was trained as a uh, nuclear physicist, but couldn't get a, a job working in that field. She was 10 years older than me. At that time, it was more difficult for women to uh, find positions uh, in the professional world. And um, she went that route, and of course she had a huge impact on that field, receiving the Nobel Prize in 1977. So, and, but she kept up with me for years and years, and uh, we became very close friends uh, in later uh, years. I was just enjoying my science, and I had opportunities. And um, very early in my career, when I started my independent career, I had a, um, a research position at the MIT Lincoln Labs. And uh, of course, there were very few women. There were two of us out of a thousand men. And uh, so we were kind of outnumbered, but uh, I think our work was appreciated. And um, I uh, received a faculty position soon thereafter. And I'm still working. After all these years, I had celebrated my 84th birthday recently, and I'm still at it because I'm still interested in it. To be sure, if you have an interest and you have the ability to do it, uh, there are opportunities. But uh, uh, you know, nowadays it's very different because women expect to have equality and uh, uh, equal recognition. And when I started out, I wasn't. I was only thinking of opportunities and. So my early years, I, I was focusing on that. And, uh, but I joined the movement. If uh, we can have equality, why not?